What's up, gamers? This is that PlayStation Gamer. Well, now we are covering the final one of the big three, and that, of course, being Nintendo. Now, I'm going to say this right now out the gate. Much as I'm a Sony guy, much as I enjoy Xbox on occasion, Nintendo had the better 2023. They are ending things off how they, like, they started. They basically started off very good. They had a lot of games. Like, the amount of games Nintendo has put out is kind of ridiculous. Like, when I look at the amount, it's like, wow. Like, holy shit. Now, granted, not all these games are brand new IPs or anything. A lot of these actually tend to be remasters, remakes. But then again, that is what the Nintendo audience wants. You know, they want more remasters and remakes of older games that they like. And, of course, they want more Zelda. They want more Mario. And, of course, they wanted the Mario movie to be a gigantic success, which it is. I've done a whole rant about the Mario movie, how I think the Mario movie is okay at best. Mostly because, honestly, it, it kind of felt like a Nintendo trailer. Like, here, here's a bunch of Easter eggs and stuff to put in the movie to disguise as a quote-unquote plot. But that's a whole different thing. I, I'm not trying to, you know, poop on Nintendo in this case. Because, like, I do think Nintendo puts out good games. I do think that they put out games that people want to play. I think a lot of people, especially, you know, people who are looking for that kick in nostalgia, man, they're... <laughs> That's why they're Nintendo fans. Nintendo fans tend to be very nostalgic bound. And dig it, that's not a bad thing. I think Nintendo had good directs. I think there were some directs out there that could have been better. I think there's some could have been worse. There's a reason why I kind of start watching these more often instead of kind of, you know, just shoving them off to the side. Because, like, you know, as a show, these aren't bad. I kind of wish, you know, controversial opinion here, I kind of wish Sony would copy their format of having like three big directs or i guess like i guess you would say just three directs in general in a year and just at least give us some kind of information but with sony it's always you know kind of spur of the moment kind of like oh here's a state of play and then everyone has you know their expectations out of 10 but you know you get like a five or six at best <laughs> but that yeah again uh nintendo this year yeah they had a better year I think their 2023 was much better than Sony and Microsoft. They were more consistent. They were definitely more on level of what you expected. And yeah, they did really good. But of course, this year was also played by the big thing. Nintendo Switch 2. Now, this is an official name or anything. This thing has just been rumor left and right. I've heard rumors that it being basically just a direct, you know, sorry, the Nintendo Direct, uh, Nintendo Switch 2. I've basically heard about this thing at one point being just basically a more beefy Nintendo Switch. Now there's rumors it's going to be double screen. Now there's rumors it's going to be detachable like the original. But, like, the screens will be detachable too. It's just, like, it's this all different crazy-ass mess. Like, man, at the end of the day, I will believe it when I see it. I think the Nintendo Switch is definitely on its way out. That That's a given at this point. Like, the Nintendo Switch is just, it's in its last years. It's in its last, you know, big, I would say the last two big years of being the prime Nintendo console. And then the new one comes in and takes over. I think that's also, you know, there's a strong possibility their games aren't going to be backwards compatible. And the reason I say this is because money Nintendo has very much an anti-consumer practice when it comes to backwards compatibility. They used to be very pro-consumer, especially like with the Wii U. But man, they just, they love milking those remasters out of people. Just the hypocrisy uh, on that front is ridiculous. Like, you know, people will sit there and talk about like how they hate The Last of Us Part 1, you know, remaster. Or The Last of Us Part 1 remake, remaster, whatever the fuck you call that thing. <laughs> it's a thing. But at the same time, you know, these sort of same people will sit there and say they're going to buy a Skyward Sword HD. Which is like, okay, whatever. It's your money, your choice, but still. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think... I, I don't want to speculate on the Nintendo Switch 2. Mostly because... I, we, we literally don't know next to nothing actually about it. We don't know anything about it outside. Apparently, it's in being process of being made. And at some point in the future, we're going to hear about it. I, I could talk about these rumors and all that stuff. But it's like at the end of the day, rumors are so easy to dismiss. Because at the end of the day, 
you don't know if they're true until the the actual information comes out. And now that like there's already like speculation, like oh Nintendo's going to announce their new console uh, early next year. They're not going to announce it early next year because they still got games to come out early next year. You know. And uh, one thing I do want to speculate on, and this is just because this kind of was like you know the thing that keeps hovering over Nintendo, is of course Metroid Prime Four. Now I'm not, yeah yeah. I, I'm trying not to speculate on the next console or anything, but I want to throw this idea out for people. And just, maybe this is true. What if Metroid Prime 4 is actually a Nintendo Switch 2 launch game? Just saying. I think that's a possibility. I think that's a possibility also to have a Mario game and some kind of announcement for a new Zelda game down the road. I, that, that, that's what I would speculate at most with Nintendo is that you're going to get Metroid Prime, F, Metroid Prime 4 at some point, maybe as a launch title, you're going to get a Mario game, you're going to get a Zelda game. <laughs> like Nintendo is very easy to predict because they have stuck to the same values for a long time and hey, it works for them. Uh, as far as like big announcements this year, the biggest announcement for me personally was seeing Pikmin 4 actually come to light. Even though we knew for a while this game was basically done. So I was like, why did it take so long for them to announce this? And of course, you know, you have that, you have this, you know, kind of, I wouldn't want to say next, you know, next big games. But like, let's compare Pikmin 4 and, you know, Mario Wonder to Spider-Man 2 and Starfield. Now, not, not in terms of quality, but in terms of scale. Which which of these four feels like it's the bigger scale game? Give you a hint. And it isn't the one with the plumber, and it isn't one with the little plant people. Like Spider-Man and Starfield just feel like a much bigger games. But the day that's just me ranting around. But I I don't have much to say about Nintendo. I don't like them very much. And in these videos, I try to stay somewhat positive, even though if the news is depressing as hell, like the PlayStation one was. But yeah. Nintendo had a good year. They had a better year than Sony. Far as Game of the Year awards go, well, you know, I think that's going to be my next video. Far as this whole season, this whole thing goes. Because, man, Nintendo is, they got a pretty good chance at walking away with something. But, I think there's one game that's going to challenge them. And might come out to victor. But we'll get to that when we get to that video. So until next time guys. This is That PlayStation Gamer sign out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And all you two are BS. Peace out and have a good day.